Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. Bet you didn't see this one coming because today we have a pair of N1 basketball shoes. I believe this is one of their most recent products, the Gamma 3.0. So the one I got is the mid top version of the shoe. Uh, there is a low top as well. The DS and SS part in the name, I'm really not sure what those stand for. So in case you know more about it, please let me know in the comments. And if I'm not mistaken, these guys retail for 60 bucks, uh, US dollars to begin with. For my pair, I paid around like 50 bucks after tax with a discount. So they are very affordable in today's standard. I don't know if any of you watched the N1 documentary on Netflix, but that was a nice rewind back to the glory days of the brand and when it had such a close tie with the streetball culture. The mixtape tour they did, how they competed against Nike, also ballers like Rafer Alston, Stefan Marbury, and The Professor. Anyways, given the low price tag and the Walmart look, how do these N1 shoes perform? Let's take a closer look. Big N1 logo on the box. On the bottom here, it has like a coach's drawing board. On the first look, this really looks like a shoe from the early 2000s to me. A chunky mid top, it's a look that we rarely see anymore among modern basketball shoes nowadays. Towards the back end of the upper, there's some leather, almost like crocodile leather. It feels pretty firm in hand. There's an N1 logo on the midsole, and the main feature of this shoe is the double strap, about one eyelid between each other to help secure the fit and provide a better lockdown. The textile material is pretty soft, it is fused at the tip of the toe box, and breathability, I would say, is average. Flipping over to the bottom, it has a multi-directional herringbone pattern. They should be okay for outdoor use. I mean, given the low price, I wouldn't be too concerned to use them outdoors. And in terms of weight, they are actually lighter than I thought, because they do look like a heavy shoe to me. But for my size 10 and a half pair, they come in at 430 grams. On feet, you won't feel like the weight is dragging you down or anything, so that was a good thing. As to how this shoe performs on the court, uh, the cushioning, I'll give it a pass. The step in comfort was much better than I expected. I was honestly expecting a stiff feeling on feet, like a brick basically, but they aren't. However, you're also not gonna get much compression at all. Responsiveness is okay, but there's no softness under your foot. The traction on these guys was pretty good, but not the most consistent. They can be pretty squeaky at times in the indoor gym. The grip was enough for what I needed, and most of the times it can get you to a hard stop with no issues. It also does pick up a lot of dust, so you're gonna need to wipe it off a lot if you normally play on a dusty court. It didn't really affect the performance though. With the fit, these are true to size, a good one-to-one -one fit, so you can go with whatever size you usually wear in, let's say, Nike basketball shoes. They're also average width, so not too wide or narrow. For my flat feet, I actually didn't experience any soreness after a while, so that was another good thing. Lastly, the stability and support are also decent. Your feet will feel stable and secure inside. And this one, the straps actually served some functionality to improve the lockdown. You can tuck the laces underneath if you like, and in general, it's a secure wrap around the foot, but not too tight where it becomes stiff. So overall, the N1 Gamma 3.0 is actually not bad, especially for its price. If you're looking for good value in a budget shoe, these are definitely on the cheaper end of the cheaper end, and performance is decent. Just don't expect to have a nice or soft cushion setup. I mean, for like a $60 shoe, can't complain. They have some other colorways too, aside from this gray one, and you can probably just find them on Amazon if you're interested. That's it for this video. If you'd like to see more of these types of budget shoes, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.